the huge areas of the world that have never been looked at by archaeology at all. Or if looked at by archaeology, looked at only minimally. It's really important to understand that archaeology um, is often driven by accidental finds. In the shadow depths beneath the temple of the ancient city of Tapasiris Magna, located along the Egyptian coastline, a monumental discovery was made by Kathleen Martinez of the University of Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, and her team. Let's call in the archaeologists to make sure that we're not going to wreck any ancient archaeology while we're doing this. And that's a lot of archaeological discoveries are made as a result of that. During their meticulous excavations, they unearthed an extensive tunnel plunging 13 meters underground, expertly carved through 1,305 meters of sandstone. This architectural feat, standing two meters tall, has been hailed as a geometric miracle by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities for its engineering precision and scale. It's, it's interesting that the patterns are geometrical. Someone made it, yeah. and it involved a very large amount of organized labor in order to make it. There had to be the will and the intent in order to do that. The Eupalinos Tunnel, extending over 10 to 36 meters, was an unparalleled achievement in ancient engineering, mirroring the complexity and ambition of the Taposiris Magna Tunnel, though the latter's function remains a mystery. Despite being partially submerged in water, the tunnel's purpose, beyond its architectural resemblance to historical works, is still under investigation. The driving force behind Martinez's dedication to Taposiris Magna since 2004 has been the quest to locate the final resting place of Cleopatra VII, the last queen of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Are we looking at the traces of a forgotten episode in human history? I think so. I think that's, that's what's going on here. The excavations at Taposiris Magna have not been in vain, revealing artifacts and signs hinting at the presence of Cleopatra and her ancestors. Founded around 280 BCE by Ptolemy II, a direct descendant of one of Alexander the Great's generals, Taposiris Magna is steeped in the legacy of its founders. The temple, believed to be dedicated to Osiris and his consort Isis, also aligns with Cleopatra's efforts to embody Isis, strengthening her divine legitimacy. This is a very neglected area of the world, uh, as far as deep and ancient archaeology goes. Discoveries within the temple complex have included coins adorned with the likenesses of Cleopatra and Alexander the Great, alongside figurines of Isis suggesting a vibrant cultic activity centered around these figures. Additionally, Greco-Roman burial shafts unearthed within the site hint at the potential for finding tombs similar to those Cleopatra and her consort Mark Antony might be interred in, raising the possibility of uncovering their final resting places. Looking forward, the exploration is set to extend into the Mediterranean Sea, following the trail of a series of devastating earthquakes between 320 and 1303 CE that led to the partial submersion of the temple complex. Prior excavations have also indicated a network of tunnels connecting Lake Marriott to the Mediterranean, suggesting a broader scope of investigation in the quest to unravel the mysteries of Taposiris Magna. The tunnel discovery, yielding artifacts such as pottery and a limestone block, adds to the anticipation of what lies ahead. As articulated by Zahi Hawass, the former Minister for Antiquities, the discovery of Cleopatra and Mark Antony's tomb would be a landmark event of the 21st century. Nonetheless, the significance of the findings at Taposiris Magna transcends the search for royal tombs, shedding light on the rich and complex history of this ancient city. The ongoing excavations promise not only the potential revelation of royal tombs, but also a deeper understanding of the cultural and historical landscape of ancient Egypt. Moving on, the mystery of the Osiris shaft, a hidden gem beneath the sands of the Giza Plateau. But he found evidence of, of deliberate burial in a very complicated, difficult cave system, which yeah. you can hardly access. Is this shaft connected with ancient Queen Cleopatra? This ancient marvel is a deep dive into Egyptian engineering brilliance and a profound testament to their religious beliefs, carved straight into the bedrock and plunging about 30 meters, which is nearly 100 feet underground. It's a three-level journey into the past, where architecture meets the afterlife. 
Right at the doorstep of the Pyramid of Khafre, the entrance to this subterranean complex is anything but ordinary. It's like stepping into a different realm, starting with a modest antechamber that serves as your welcome or warning of the mysteries that lie ahead. This first stop is simple yet precise, a showcase of the ancient Egyptians' mastery over stone, but the adventure only deepens from there. A narrow passage takes you to the second level, a larger space carved with burial niches. Imagine this as a VIP section for the afterlife, likely reserved for those with a direct line to the gods or high standing in society. It's a clear sign that you're moving closer to something sacred. Then comes the final plunge to the heart of the Osiris shaft. Here in the deepest chamber, you're greeted by a scene straight out of mythology. At the center, a massive granite sarcophagus sits partially submerged in water, which seeps in naturally from the limestone. This isn't just an engineering feat, it's a direct nod to Osiris, the god of the afterlife, whose story is intertwined with the Nile itself. The water here isn't just a natural occurrence, it's a symbol of life, death and rebirth, mirroring the Nile's life-giving floods and Osiris' own resurrection story. The genius of the Osiris shaft isn't just in its construction, though carving such a complex directly into the bedrock, managing groundwater and ensuring stability is nothing short of astounding. It's also in how it weaves together functionality and deep religious symbolism. This place wasn't just meant for burying the dead, it was a canvas on which the ancient Egyptians painted their beliefs in the afterlife, a physical journey through the underworld that mirrored the soul's passage to eternity. In the end, the Osiris shaft stands as a profound expression of ancient Egyptian architectural and religious thought, a place where the physical and the spiritual meet, carved deep into the earth. The Osiris shaft presents a fascinating narrative of ancient Egyptian beliefs ingeniously encapsulated in a subterranean complex. This enigmatic site, stretching deep beneath the sands, offers a rare window into the Egyptians' sophisticated burial practices and their reverence for Osiris, the deity of the afterlife and rebirth. The discovery of varied sarcophagi within its depths speaks volumes about the social tapestry and the evolving customs over millennia from the Old Kingdom through to the Ptolemaic period. It's intriguing to see how granite and basalt sarcophagi, earmarked for the elite, coexist with simpler wooden ones, suggesting a resting place for a wide spectrum of society. The assortment of burial goods unearthed here from pottery intended for afterlife sustenance to Ushabti figures meant to serve the deceased beyond death, underscores a firm belief in an existence after life. These artifacts weren't just symbolic, they were envisioned to spring to life in the afterlife, attending to the deceased. The presence of jewelry, amulets and various ritual objects further accentuates the shaft's spiritual significance, painting a vivid picture of the personal beliefs and the societal stature of those entombed within its chambers. Less common than in grandiose tombs but equally telling are the inscriptions found within the Osiris shaft. These hieroglyphic texts, drawn from the Book of the Dead, offer prayers and spells to aid the deceased's passage through the underworld, revealing the religious literature that permeated burial rites at the time. The shaft's design and function serve as a profound testament to the myth of Osiris, creating a physical manifestation of the underworld and mirroring the god's mythical entombment in the Nile's waters. This architectural homage to Osiris not only marked the site as a burial ground, but also as a sacred space for pilgrimage and worship, drawing followers to engage in rituals and offerings. The use of water in the deepest chamber, symbolizing purification and rebirth, reflects the Nile's life-giving floods controlled by Osiris, reinforcing the deity's association with agriculture and resurrection. Some theories even suggest that the Osiris shaft's alignment might connect the deceased with celestial bodies, embedding them within the eternal cycle of life, death, and rebirth, a concept that highlights the Egyptians' advanced understanding of cosmology. Exploring the Osiris shaft thus unfolds a rich tapestry of ancient Egyptian life, belief, and architectural prowess. It's a narrative that transcends the mere act of burial, revealing a culture deeply immersed in the mysteries of the afterlife, the divine and the cosmos. The Osiris shaft stands not just as a monument, but as a bridge between the earthly and the divine, offering invaluable insights into the spiritual and everyday lives of the ancient Egyptians.